Apple Intelligence, which is what Apple is cleverly calling its new slate of AI features, should be hitting devices later this year. And in this video, we're going to cover all of the cool major new features that Apple Intelligence will have to offer. Apple Intelligence will now power more writing tools to help you draft the right email, the right message, note, or whatever it is that you might be writing. So you can have AI choose a different tone like friendly, professional, or concise, and you can even have it proofread and offer way more help uh, for your spelling and grammar beyond just a simple spell check. Or you can have it summarize highlighted text for you, and you can insert that at the top of an email so that you kind of give somebody the TLDR of something along with the full body if they want more context. I think one of the most popular new Apple intelligence features is going to be Genmoji. Genmoji gives users the ability to create any emoji they want using the power of AI and just coming up with a simple prompt. Obviously, there are some guardrails in place for anything that might be violent or too inappropriate, but otherwise, the world is your emoji playground. And you can feed it prompts, and you'll see multiple options available for you to choose and use as an emoji or a sticker across the entire operating system. Speaking of playgrounds, Image Playground is another new AI feature from Apple that basically works the same way as Genmoji in the sense that you feed it prompts and the app will generate a few different images for you to choose from and then use across various apps on Apple platforms. You have a few different styles to choose from like animation, illustration, or sketch, and you can even choose a person in your photo library to maybe turn into a superhero or whatever the prompt might be. Alongside Image Playground, you'll also have Magic Wand, which will turn your drawings into something with a bit more flair to them. Now, I'm not good at drawing at all, but if I was to draw like a house or a building or something, kind of get out something on a note, and then I can use Magic Wand to then select that and turn it into a better image using the power of Apple Intelligence and then I can implement that into my note and make things look a lot better. Now, Apple Intelligence will be used with Siri, and it's really going to improve things from a Siri personal assistant standpoint. Not only does it have this nice new design with the glowing edges, but functionally, Siri is now able to understand personal context, like asking when your mom's flight is going to land. And then without having to repeat what you were talking about, you can just simply follow up with another question like, what are our dinner plans? And it will get all of that with enough context behind it and let you know what that information is. You can now also stumble over words, correct yourself in the middle of asking Siri a question, and Siri will be able to figure it out and still complete the task correctly. Also, typing to Siri is available and easier than ever by just simply double tapping the bottom of your screen. Then you can ask it any question you might want. Say you're in a loud public environment and you just don't want to use Siri with your voice you can use type to Siri very quickly. You can also ask Siri support questions about new features or how to do something on a device that you might have so that you no longer have to be the Apple support person for your friends and family. Apple Intelligence also offers a slew of other new useful features like priority notifications so that the most important notifications are always at the top of the list for you to see quickly. There's a new memory movie feature that lets users create a video from a prompt based around a specific subject of the photo and what might be happening, like someone in your family going fishing it'll compile all of those relevant photos and videos, even choose music for you for your memory movie. Lastly, there's the chat GPT integration. Now, with all of the Apple intelligence stuff that we just talked about, Apple is either processing everything on device or using its own private cloud computing system to keep everything private and secure. When Apple intelligence or Siri is unable to complete your prompt or request, there's the integration with ChatGPT that will automatically kick in for you, but it will always ask you if you want to use ChatGPT to answer the prompt. This will happen every single time, and unless you connect your Plus account, none of the IPs or the data being sent to ChatGPT will be saved. Now, of course, you don't have to use ChatGPT if you don't want to, and I do really like that Apple will ask you every single time this process is about to happen so that you can choose whether or not you want that to actually happen. Now, for those of you who want to use Apple Intelligence, you'll need to have an iPhone 15 Pro or later and any Apple Silicon device from an M1 to an M4 device, and it can obviously be an iPad or a Mac. Of course, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. How do you feel about all of these new Apple Intelligence features, the ChatGPT integration? Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.